What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, first thing that we did to get started with this was we put the the rudder on the aircraft. So the rudder is now on. I'm gonna have to pull that screw back out and put some uh, like some, some type of tacking glue or foam tack or, or um, Gorilla glue or something there just so that screw doesn't wiggle its way out and this thing's vibrating around I don't know what we're gonna do next. I think we're gonna work on the cockpit getting the cockpit area done and then later on I actually have to modify this and I have to cut up here I actually have to cut here So it's got to get cut and then this has got to come off and then this is going to be like a like a pull off top with a magnet. It's going to be magnified. So I've been trying to figure out another way that I can that I could slide those batteries in there and without taking that rear that that front call off every time. I'm going to have to cut here and then here or I'm going to have to cut here probably from here to here. Then I'll have to put a piece there, a piece here, and magnify it. It'll be magnified. I'll put two little things down here where these two two uh, dowels will stick into there, and then it'll magn magnet itself down. So uh, it's going to be just a little bit of custom work I'm going to have to do on this. But no big deal. We'll get her done. We'll get her done. Yep, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be fun to say the least. It's not just like plugging it up and putting it in the air. It's gonna be fun. And I guess I overreacted a little bit on this uh, <clears throat> this mono coat is what they call it. I guess. I guess it can be fixed, but uh, that should just show that I am that this is my first one and I am a rookie with these. I guess that mono coat's supposed to, it, it comes like that and you just fix it. I guess you use a heat gun and it'll shrink it back down or whatever. Hopefully, hopefully that's just exactly how it goes. Um, but yeah, some custom work that's going to have to be done to the balsa up front. So that way I can put batteries in and the ESCs in. Going to have to have most of that weight right up here in the nose because this thing's not going to have an engine. So those batteries are going to be taking the weight taking the place of the weight where the engine would be so the battery's got to be for, far forward probably have two far forward and then two back here and then the ESCs weigh a good bit as well so 160 amp um, what are those 160 amp something Phoenix I'll look it up. I'll look the ESCs up, but there'll be two of those 260 amp ESCs, and it'll be running on two 12S packs or four 12S packs. I can't remember. I want to say it's two 12S packs, but I think it's eight batteries total that this will run on, plus backup batteries for my uh, servos. In case we lose power, I got a backup battery that goes to the servo so I can at least get her down or try to get her down. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. We'll be updating you as we go, like I said. Um, I have to get the proper tools to do that custom work up there in the front. I'm going to have to get a jig. A jigsaw. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So this is going to be a fun one, guys. So keep keep po I'll keep you guys posted on everything that I'm doing on it. And when I complete a step, I'll I'll put another blog up and show you guys what I've done. But uh, that's that's about it for now. We'll uh, we'll get started on something else here pretty soon. Just trying to figure out where I want to go next. What do I want to complete next? I don't want to complete something if it's going to be in the way later. That's what I, that's my whole thought behind it. So um, I am looking at the instruction booklet. Uh, over and over again so that I don't do something like that but uh that's it guys uh I'm Dave this is Dave's RC and uh we'll see you guys later on another blog later